Hello everyone and uh, thanks for having a look at the video. Uh, today I'm looking at a problem I've got with my uh, window blinds. As you can see they uh, don't go up and down very well. This is on my Bailey Rimini but I believe this type of window blinds used on quite a few different caravans and I've had a look at the price, they're very very expensive. So anyway, first thing to do <laughs> obviously we need to take it off of the wall you see the two screws there there's two screws opposite so simply take those out which we're doing here now I've speeded this up a bit I'm sure you don't want to watch me unscrewing these four screws for the duration just supporting it there obviously it's all plastic so you need to be careful you don't pull it about too much you don't want to break anything and make the matter worse and I'm just flipping it over on its back so we can have a clear view of what's going on with the mechanism so you can see how it all fits together very simple there's a roller with a spring and uh, eclipse in either end now, I've tried to pull this out and it the roller doesn't come out and I didn't want to break anything so um, I'm going to remove these two screws unfortunately they're um, actually torque screws, a T10 torque um, you may not need to do this on yours but um, I did it simply because it makes it easier by removing this screw and the one on the other end it allows me to pull the plastic gently apart so I can actually get the rolling mechanism this end out we are only interested in this end um, don't pull the other end of the roller out because that's where all the spring mechanism is and um, you can end up having lots and lots of problem if you pull that out so this end is the spring mechanism I'm gonna take the the screw out again only so that it gives me a little bit more play when I'm trying to um, to pull the roller out I've got to stay at this point. I'm not actually trying to remove the whole window blind. I'm just trying to take one end of the roller out so I can see what's actually going on with it. As you saw, my one was um, very, very sticky and it wouldn't um, it wouldn't come down. Yeah, the screw did go underneath, but uh, don't worry. Uh, off film, I did actually lift the window up and get it out, so <laughs> I did recover it. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to push the plastic apart you can see it coming apart there where it joins together it's difficult with the camera as well but just pulling it apart gently and that allows me to uh, pull this end of the roller out now what I did find straight away was that piece of nylon you can see sticking out that shouldn't be there that holds the end of the blind on the roller and on my one it was coming out and catching so don't pull it out you need to push it back in and then secure it now what I did was use some glue this is actually um, pipe glue it's airfix glue to be honest it's just for plastic so um, I used a very very small amount of glue just in there just to stop that piece of nylon coming out and getting caught in the mechanism now what I did find was um, even after putting this um, piece of nylon back into the window uh, mechanism the um, the blind was still very very loose didn't catch so much but it's still loose so um, there is a way to tighten the spring uh, which I'll show you in a second so as you can see I've just put that glue in there just to keep that in there and then I, I left it for a little while just for it to uh, just for it to set so it wouldn't uh, wouldn't get all over the window or blind or anything so that's set away so now I've put it um, I put it back together and um, I'm just gonna pop the screws back in now if, if your windows just if your window blind is just giving you problems it won't retract fully then that piece there where I had the to, to sort out that piece of nylon you won't need to take these two screws out because you can do this uh, you can do this next part without actually taking those two screws out but um, just for completeness I'm going to just put these screws back in 
and uh, that's the little cover piece that goes on them. And again, this end, I'm just going to uh, put the uh, put the screws back in. There's the screw. That's that torque one again. You don't want to over tighten any of these either. It's all plastic to plastic. Anyway, yeah, to tighten the spring up, you can see this sort of cam arrangement here. It'll only turn one way which is towards the top of the window so if you can it's very very stiff because there's a big spring in there but if you can push down on it with a screwdriver like I do and I'm, I'm just moving up against the side of the caravan so that um, I can get a bit more purchase on it but you can see that cam there if you push it it will actually turn eventually keep pushing and pushing maybe better flat headed screwdriver would have been better but um, yeah there you go it's starting to move it's starting to move and it I've got it halfway there so you can see it's moved halfway okay and then just push it a little bit more and it will click back into position it's quite stiff as I say but you can clearly see it's gone forward so push it and it will click in uh, that's tightened that spring up a little bit it's up to you if you want to try again. Now, my, I was quite happy with mine, although it looks a bit slack, it wasn't. It's not slack anymore. Um, and you can see it's moving quite freely up and down without it all creasing. Obviously, we're looking at the back side at the moment. But yeah, it goes back in lovely. So I didn't do it any tighter than that. I'm not sure how tight you can go before you cause problems, but uh, one click for me was good enough to, uh, to make it work. So I'm going to put the screws back in. It's important when you're putting the window um, blind back on don't do all the screws up really tight to start with because um, it is a little bit flimsy and you want to make sure that when you put the screws in that the window uh, the window frame sorry the, the frame for the blind is straight if it's not straight then it's gonna not go up and down very well so uh, yeah when you put the screws in just put them in loosely to start with try not to drop them like I did this then put them in loosely to start with I'm just checking that everything's nice and square pull that up and down as you can see it's moving much much better straight away and I'm just going to uh, just nip up these screws you don't want to over tighten them a you might break the plastic and b it will just go round and round and round inside the um, I'm not going to say it's wood whatever the wall covering is that they use inside the uh, the baileys um, but there you are once they're um, once they're nipped up and you're happy just give it a is that like a little nip like I say you're not trying to murder the thing when you screw it in just check it's moving up and down lovely which it is let's just check all the other bits are still working okay don't want to have messed those up and then I'm just going to push it right to the very top and make sure the whole mechanism works which it does you can still see some creasing on the right hand side and that's simply because the window's been the window blind has been lying about for a long time uh, not working properly anyway thanks for watching and I hope this helps you Bye-bye.